playing ball in free fall. Playing ball in free fall, we're bouncing off the wall. And the ceiling, microgravity, in outer space. When you're playing ball in free fall, up and down are the same thing. Playing ball in free fall, playing ball in free fall, bouncing off the walls and the floor and the sea. What's the difference? Microgravity. We call it zero G. Who can tell the difference when you're playing ball in free fall? Not not everyone. Please make your way to the other lab. The professor's seminar on cosmology and current events will be starting in a few minutes. We are taught that gravity is the great force that rules the universe and keeps the stars and planets and moons in their orbits and binds all matter together. This is only partially true. Gravity is a weak force, certainly not strong enough to instigate the formations of cosmic structures into the shapes we observe. To make sense of this confusion, Scientists talk about dark matter, a substance which cannot be observed, yet accounts for nearly all of the matter in the universe. Dark matter is a mathematical canard. It's ridiculous. I don't know. I wonder. Gravity is the last act in the cosmic ballet. Electricity is the force that animates our cosmos. Electric forces move throughout space, linking star to star and galaxy to galaxy. The networks of electrical currents are so vast, yet so mysteriously interwoven. One is reminded of neural networks. What if the galaxy is a giant brain? Or maybe just one lobe of a larger brain that is the local galactic group? What would that brain be thinking about? Would it even know we are here? If our galaxy is a lobe in the cosmic brain, it may not know we are here, but it will soon find out that the fish legions are on the move. Fish swarms ride the electric currents of the galactic medium. When they enter a planetary system, their negative charge is attracted to the solar wind. They swim through the system, gathering enough current to provide nourishment and propulsion for their journey between the stars. The big fish boss is commanding the fish swarms to release their electric charge against planets. He has turned fish swarms into fish legions. This has happened before. Many thousands of years ago, another fish boss ordered fish legions to attack the planet Mars. The scar from their electrical attack is the most prominent feature on Mars today. It is known as Valles Marineris. It is the largest chasm in the solar system and was electrically machined from the planet's crust. Escaped debris from that encounter launched into space and crossed paths with the Earth, raining down great showers of meteorites. These rocks from Mars have been found on the Earth. With enough fish, Big Fish Boss could spin electrical webs and disrupt the orbits of entire planetary systems. 
he could change the angular momentum of stars, spinning them closer together. According to Fred, the problem is even bigger than that. Soon the fish legions may be able to disrupt electric fields on a galactic scale. With the power to disrupt the cosmic electrical fields, and the threat of chaos, Big Fish Boss plans to take control of the galaxy. Red Boy Genius, what can we do to stop this threat? Is there anything we can do? Yes, there is. I am meeting with Fred and Caterpillar Minister. We will make a plan of action. And then, I will need all of your help. <laughs>